Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about my three favorite staking platforms for crypto where you can earn a passive income just by holding your crypto. Obviously, nothing I talk about on this channel is financial advice, so always go away and do your own research before investing any of your own money. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Now, before I jump into the first platform today, I'm going to talk about the benefits of staking cryptocurrency rather than just holding cryptocurrency. If you're already holding Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., great. You know, there's obviously potential returns in the future if the price of that coin goes up. But there's another way that you can earn a yield or increase the amount of that particular token that you hold. And that is through staking through one of the platforms I'm going to talk about today. For example, guys, when a new coin comes along, no matter how big they are, they're looking to develop and grow and they need money to be able to do that. They also need people to be holding those tokens because it stabilizes and makes the platform more secure. So they're going to reward you for doing that. Basically, for a period of time, you're going to lock away a number of tokens and therefore they're going to then pay you a reward and your percentage yield. So, for example, looking into KuCoin, which is my first platform today, all of which link down below in the description. So make sure you go and check them out after this video. You can see that Polkadot here is offering a 14% annual percentage return, which is fantastic. Now guys, I really like KuCoin because it offers loads and loads of different cryptocurrencies that you might not find on other platforms as well as that. It's super easy to use, very easy to sign up for and available in pretty much all countries. First of all, looking here at Polkadot, you can see on the left we've got the coins, different coins available, and then the different APR annual percentage return. So looking into Polkadot, 14%, for example, if I was to put away $1,000 now, in one year it's going to be worth $1,140. But additionally, if I then take compound interest into effect and add another 14% year on year, I'm not only earning 14% in the second year on my $1,000, but now I'm earning it on $1,140. So over time you have a snowball effect where you can see some really great growth and returns if you're willing to do it for a longer period of time. Here you can see the tenure. So that's like the amount of time that you're expected to hold it in that platform. And then you can see all you need to do, click on the left. Now, obviously there's a risk involved in this. And the risk is basically, for example, let's say Polkadot at the moment is something like $4, not sure exactly what it is today, something around $4. And I buy it all at $4 and I lock it away for say 60 days, as you can see here. Now, if I lock away for 60 days and Polkadot falls in value, then I do lose the value on the coins that are held because I can't change them into something else because they're sort of stuck within that platform. But ultimately, if you're going to be holding a coin for a long period of time because you believe in the project, then you're going to be paying paid rewards in a Polkadot. So let's say right now Polkadot's at $4, but you're earning 14% on your Polkadot, which is being paid each week time and time again. Then ultimately, if Polkadot goes up from $4 to let's say $40, which is very possible in an upcoming bull cycle, then all of the crypto that you've been earning is then going to grow in value as well. So your original $1,000 of Polkadot could be worth significantly more than just the 14% APR because you're earning the APR in the Polkadot, not in a US dollar value. Now as well, what I could do guys is I can click on APR and I can switch between the different values of coins. And you can see this one, Melos, pays 101%, 45 days. It's always worth going and reading about all of these different assets and learning about them before you just think you're gonna earn 101%. Because that asset goes and halves in value guys, even if you're getting 101%, actually, you know, you could be losing further down the line. So actually the bigger coins, Ethereum, Bitcoin, which you're probably going to be holding anyway, you should be looking at those. So coming down the list, guys, to Solana, which is one of my favorite cryptocurrencies. I think it's going to be extremely big this year. Just clicking on the right, I can see subscribe. Then you can see, like, depending on the amount of Solana, as you can see at the moment, I don't have any Solana really in the trading account because I keep it in other platforms. You can see that you can just add in what you want here and then you can say I've read the terms and conditions and you do need to read the terms and conditions because you need to check how long it's gonna be locked away for and all the fees, etc., that are involved and then click on subscribe. It's gonna lock away your crypto for you and then everything is gonna be ready to go. Coming across to the next website then guys is Binance. Obviously Binance is the biggest crypto exchange anywhere so it's very easy to use again and easily accessible from pretty much everywhere in the world however 
depending on your location, you might want to choose one of the others if it's harder for you to get hold of them. So what we can see, guys, if you come into the locked staking, there's also DeFi staking. So there's two separate places where you can look. And what's really cool about this, guys, is you can see that we've got things like Ethereum and Bitcoin where you can earn 10% on the Ethereum you hold. So if you're a long-term Ethereum holder, 10% is potentially awesome because right now, let's say Ethereum is something like $1,800 today then I'm earning 10% on my $1,800 if I have one Ethereum in there. But ultimately, if Ethereum goes up to like $5,000 by the end of the year, then I'm earning 10% of the $5,000 rather than just the $1,800 in Ethereum right now. So that's really, really cool. There's other huge tokens there, which you can see, BUSD, Aave, etc. Coming over to locked staking, you can see the duration in days. Now, that's something I really like about this platform. I can change how long I'm willing to do in terms of how long I lock it up. These are kind of slightly lesser well-known tokens. We've got Reef token here, estimated APY of 119%. That's for leaving it for 90 days. If I drop it down to 60 days, then my percentage APR decreases. Then 30 days, 20.86%. By leaving it in for a longer period of time, there's perhaps more uncertainty, but for them, it's obviously much more beneficial if you're gonna leave it for a longer period of time. That's why they're willing to reward you for more if you are willing to go in higher. And I think right now, because the whole of the crypto market is pretty low, right now is the time to be getting in and doing staking for the next sort of 60 to 90 days in my opinion, go away and do your own research about each of these individual coins before investing or going and staking any of them. Now, the last one, which I don't have an account with is Kraken, but I've heard some really good things about Kraken. Personally, all of the needs I have are met by both Binance and KuCoin, so I haven't really much need for using Kraken in terms of as a staking platform or as a kind of like a platform to exchange, etc. But you can see coming down through Kraken, you can earn up to 23% yearly on your crypto. And the cool thing about staking them through reputable platforms, big platforms like this, is it's far more reliable, far safer, etc. So you can see down below they have things like Cardano, 4 to 6% yearly rewards. Cosmos, etc. Then you might be thinking the 4 to 6% isn't really very much, but compared with the bank, it's huge. But not only that, guys, if you're going to be buying these cryptos anyway, then it's a no brainer, in my opinion. And you'll notice that the percentages available on the sort of bigger market cap coins are smaller, but that's fine because that then means that they're lower risk for you. Okay, because the bigger market cap coins are less likely to go down the pan. Doesn't mean they can't. Look at Luna very recently but it's much less likely for these big coins to fall apart. So, so that's why the rewards on staking for bigger market cap coins are much lower. However, on the flip side of things, you know, the smaller market cap coins are much riskier, but they do offer huge APYs. If you find the right one, you can get very lucky, but never use any money that you can't afford to lose, guys. So in summary, guys, if you are holding crypto, then it's an absolute no-brainer that you should be staking your crypto because you can earn passive rewards on it, and that money is gonna continue to grow as crypto grows, because not only are you earning a percentage yield on that crypto at the current price, but if that crypto goes up in value, then you're gonna continue to make more and more money on the coins that you're probably gonna be holding anyway. Make sure you go and check out all of those platforms today because all of them are linked down below in the description if you wanna go and find out more. If you can't access one of them from your own country, then try one of the others because I'm guaranteeing that one of them is gonna be something that you're gonna be able to enter into. Guys, if you got any value out of today's video, then make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Thanks very much for doing that. Helps us out more than you know. And if you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about crypto, staking crypto, NFTs, and much, much more, then make sure you subscribe to be kept to date with all of the latest happening. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.